Welcome back, everyone. We're back on Dark Side RP playing Atlas. over there for some reason. Good morning. More trees here than usual.
give me one second. Be right back. Okay, I'm back.
Right. It's a little tricky. Sometimes you gotta reach up and grab the wheel to get out. I should still work. Should still serve its purpose. I think so. Do you know if any of us can make the kind of salt that keeps food fresh? Mm, not me. I was thinking uh, about maybe uh, doing a little cooking, so maybe I can learn it. Maybe. Mm. Unless anybody else wants to uh, fry up uh, some steaks. I was just wondering. I haven't found salt yet, but. Maybe I'll go look sometime. Hey, you want to go now? We can do an adventure or something. Mm, that's up to you guys. I can make tools now, Bogart, so use all them all up if you need to. Oh, perfect. Okay, uh, let me uh, get some more thatch uh, uh, for um, Bogatha and uh, so she can continue to work uh i could go no problem but uh i need to go sit down and rest for uh about 20 minutes or so oh that'd be perfect that's fine the new ship's ready to go Ooh. excellent excellent 
we have any idea where we may be able to find Sol? Does anybody uh, have any past experience with uh, living somewhere? Uh, uh, maybe a warmer temperature or a colder one or something? I'm not sure. As usually you might find salt on a desert island, uh, but I'm not sure where deserts are. That makes sense. Uh, all the water evaporates and leaves the salt behind. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I haven't been north of here. Maybe we could try kind of northeast or something. Okay. Yeah, well, we can try that. All right. I'll just go uh, rest for a moment, then I'll be back. Okay, I'm going to okay. gather some thatch. <laughs> oh, that ship's gone.
They sharpen back up again. Above it. Yes. And we just killed another wolf. Over here? No, Elias has got the keen eyes. He spotted it over there by the sign. Oh. It was very young. It was beautiful, though. It was almost all entirely black. Oh. Was there any more messages on the board? Just the one. Just the one. All right, there's uh, food on the ship. It's a fine-looking ship that you've done there. Looks very sturdy, very comfortable. Thank you. Uh, it's uh, a little tight, but I think it'll work for now. I thought really hard on the name. Who? What's the name? Odd One. <laughs> it's it's perfect. I like it. <laughs> yeah. well, let me uh, talk to Bagatha for a second, and uh, and then we should be able to head out. No right. Okay. Agatha? Uh, we're gonna go out looking for salt. Did you wanna go? Yeah, that's fine. Let me go uh, drop some stuff. I'll be ready. Okay. Now, you know, Elias, the ship is only uh, tight for the two of us. 
by the two of them, they could probably uh, could live aboard here and never never see a problem. Maybe. Uh, did the crew get the uh, coin this time? I've paid them twice today. They're being greedy. Yeah. Well, they're Twice today. It's a bit much. <laughs> I thought so. It's very greedy. I haven't gotten paid yet, and you've gotten paid uh, probably ten times now. There's a bed down there. Hmm. It looks looks very good. I uh, wanted to keep it kind of flat for cows or chairs. Oh yes, Bakatha will definitely have to have a chair. Maybe a bench where two people can sit. Right, and she'll probably want to put it just in front of the wheel where no one can see when they're, when they're steering. One of you fellas can sail it. I took it out earlier just to make sure we had, could add enough crew room for all of us. Okay. Uh, Stanley, did you want to christen her? Uh, Bogatha is going to be joining us as well, so she'll be here in a second. All right. Okay. Do you have a chair for Bogatha? Mm, no, I don't know how to make there's, one. There's one on the other ship. I'll go get it. All right, we wouldn't want to listen for uh, however long we're gone about there not being a chair on the ship. Oh, yes. There's also two chests and weapons on the other ship in the box that if you go to the free port before I do to grab them. All right. Are they still in good shape? I think so. I know uh, they seem to be much better preserved in the water. As soon as you pull them out, they start to slowly decay. Something about the cold water preserving them. Uh-oh, you gonna hide under the chair? I put it a little bit too close to the sail. I, th I think that would have turned out a little bit more awkward than you were planning. I figured she could move it if she wants to. Well, you know, all the way from the Freeport. I picked up Rosie at this island to the to, bit to the southeast, and then she and I sailed all the way to the port. The entire way back here, she insisted on standing right in front of the wheel, with the wind in her face. But that meant that her wind was in my face. It's a tough trip back. Oh, so she needed a bath, huh? Well, she needed a bath and more fiber, apparently. Yeah. I was shocked when you told me that you picked up Rosie before you went all the way to the Freeport. <laughs> right. And she was just walking around uh, aimlessly, sort of came up and uh, nudged me with her head. And so I handed her some, uh, some of the thatch that I had in my hand and she followed me back to the ship, so I couldn't just leave her on the beach there. Did we have food on board or did we need to bring some food? No, we're all set. Alright, I'm ready. Nice to have a crew. 
Now Bogatha allies uh, has put this ship together and he's come up with a very good name for it. Oh, alright. You see did you see the name plate on the back as you came up? No, it was I know. I grabbed the ladder too fast. old one at first. It was, was that named after me? But it says odd one. So I think all right. Mm, but you're not the old one. You're 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 the youngest uh, out of us. I'm the youngest. Old by, one. By 15 minutes. Named after Bogart. <laughs> Got a ship on the port side. Now on the starboard side. <laughs> did say that we would head a bit north, uh, northeast, right? I'm guessing, but maybe that'll work. <clears throat> I've well, really got... just been to the Freeport and back. We've got good wind this way, so, uh... I say it's, uh, probably a good idea to take east as far as we can get the wind, and then, uh, head north from there. I like the ship, Elias. You did a really good job. Thank you. That's incredibly quick and uh, cuts right through the water. It does. Slice us through. Now you see the quality on the boards as well, Bob, with the. Yeah, I do. It looks really nice. All of the uh, joints are joined together much more uh, tightly and sealed up, and oh, yeah. it has like a you little can more, hold quite a bit more weight, and uh, and hold out against the pounding of the waves better. Mm. Yeah, it seems to have a little more speed. My hair is a flying in the wind. <laughs> it certainly is. It looks like Oliver pulled out last night. Everything's gone. Oh, um, well, he <sighs> said he was going to north. Uh, to the island just north of here, so. It's not too far uh, away. Good to know. Everyone, That's not far. Everyone on this island seems to come and go, including Oliver now. Yes, I was over there chopping wood earlier on the mainland, and uh, someone came by and put up a sign almost near me. He said, please announce yourself within a week. Uh, I think I've already announced myself, so I don't need to announce myself again, do I? I don't need to announce myself at all. If they can't see me, then that's, that's their problem. They put yeah. up a sign near us. Uh, they put another sign up? Oh, no, I thought you meant they put a sign by us. After uh, they had already met you. It, it was over on the mainland while I was chopping wood. Okay. Yeah. The person wasn't really friendly. They didn't say hi. Uh, they saw me, but didn't even wave. Was that sort of a slim man with dark dark hair? No, it was a woman. Oh, all right. I saw uh, someone I'd spoken to before over there, but I'm not sure what he does. I saw him uh, just run right past me, and he seemed to be collecting the same thing I was collecting. He just uh, buzzed past me and kept doing that. Yeah, I did see another guy doing that as well. But, oh well, maybe they'll become friendlier over time. No, uh, maybe. Maybe we need to uh, take over a pound cake or something to them. Are you, are you baking in the cooking pot somehow? Uh, I was thinking maybe dabbling in some recipes. Uh, I've got to buy a recipe book, but... Uh, uh, it's not now. I, I don't need it now. Oh, look at this fleet of nasty ships here. Oh, look at that. Makes me glad that Mr. Oliver built us this nice vessel. You think? That we, we met a pirate the other day. Called it a tub. The poor sloop we got from the Freeport. He said, "Look at them in that tub." 
I said, this is not a tower, but this is a ship. What in the world? This Maybe this will classify as a ship and not a tub. Oh, it was that nice gentleman that uh, we gave free admission to the museum. Yeah, his name was Captain Elias. Oh, any relation? I don't know. It sounds like it, doesn't it? Did you know him, yeah. Elias? I think it makes him cousin or something. Oh, probably. Sounds That's, right. That seems about right, yeah. <laughs> Sort of a family first name. Yeah, yeah. It happens. It's like Bogger and Bogger. You can tell they're related. He said he wouldn't accept free admission, that he Ooh, was going to take it. Crate off the starboard. Okay. Yeah, there was a box. I don't know if we're boxing today. Not Anyone that. feel like boxing? Uh, yeah, I never saw it. It blinked and it flew by. And... All right. Now, if we keep our eyes out, we'll definitely stop. Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, uh, Captain. Chair's still wet from the other day. When we met the Captain, it was drenched. It, we had gone through a rainstorm. Soaking mm. wet. Well, you put it away in a box. No. She tried to give me away to the Captain and kept calling me the old chair. Are you the old one now? You got a new name? Yeah, well, I'll have to start referring to you as the old one out of respect. The old one? The oldest one. They're probably the oldest people I've seen so far. I don't know that there's a lot of elderly people on the seas, but you never know, there could be. Does that make, does that make Bogart our elder? I guess so. Our elder of the group. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, you know what you, they say. Respect your elders. Oh, no. Now we've done it. A uh, slip of the tongue. And there goes the empowerment. We should have never started this in the first place. Oh, now. Hand it over. I like the chauffeuring around. Uh, that seems nice. I went straight to his head as I worried. <laughs> Listen to that. Respect your elders and now. Now it's escalating. Now there's a box on the port. One on the port. Alright, anybody bring their grapple? Elias. I got it. Oh, good job. Got it. Good job. So that box has boss. Who's the elder here now? I didn't even put a scratch on the, the plank there. Now, if it was in the other ship, I'm sure it uh, uh, withered away some of the plank pieces. You can probably knock the hole straight through it. Yeah, I gotta be careful. But that old two rafts that we had, if you drug in the boxes too fast, they could they could warp the sides in. It was just made out of thatch. It wasn't even wood. Yeah. I did see a plank or two on there, uh, a board or two, but they were termite infested. Oh, no, yes. We had some troubles. Uh, approaching the wall. Thank you. Oh no. Uh, did anybody hear a rip? Oh, everything's fine. Is everyone still on board? Did something happen? Did you, did you tear a seam in pants? Uh, it sounded like the, uh, little, uh, uh, metal clashing. Mm. Uh, we're going, going to go through this, uh, shimmer right here as well. Just anchor swinging in the back. Prepare for next shimmer. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no. Anchor swinging hard in the back. It keeps, 
Uh, there's a, a box on the port. I don't see anything. Uh, 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 we, we passed it, so it's probably best to keep going straight. All right. We passed it before I could say much, but we went through that shimmer so fast and the anchor just kind of cracked. Now be careful back there, uh, Elias. I think that anchor's flying up and hitting that metal box back there. Chips of the dam on the starboard. Got some more ships of the dam mm. on the starboard. They nice. seem to be having a training exercise out here or something. That's a lot of ships. Yeah, they're ramming each other. It's a new thing. I think there's some strange cursed uh, naval academy and they uh, take their ships out for uh, war games. that town over there. Some really large buildings over there. Man, it looks like we're a veritable city up here. Well, there's uh, a box, box, box on the port side. side. Yeah, there's a large town. It looks nice. Nothing like one of those freeport towns at all. That one looks very lovely. Uh-oh. What is that underneath the boat? I'm not sure. Is that a dolphin? Hmm. Maybe. So, uh, Elias, you said uh, you were able to make metal tools. Uh, is grapples... Uh, there's uh, another box over here on the right. Is that, huh? is that an extra skill? I uh, can't make grapples. Not sure how. Ah. And nobody had any at the freeport earlier. Oh no. Eh, maybe a new shipment will arrive within a couple hours. I could never know. What a luxurious town. I bet there's all kinds of shopping over there. I bet they have grapples. Yeah, I kind of lucked out the other day. I saw that grapple for sale and I said, Ooh, I better buy it while we got a chance. Not at all, it's ready. I think it's already paid for itself. It was only like a couple of copper. Yeah, grapples are like dinner. You better get it while it's ready. It's going to be gone soon. Uh, there's still one straight ahead on your starboard side. All right, I see it. Thank you. No, bring it on your side, Elias. the first one. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Mm, it's tough to stay makes... steady when you're uh, broadside to the waves. Yeah. Uh, but then again, uh, uh, the crew doesn't always pull up the sails fast enough. That's right. Not only are they demanding, but they uh, don't actually work for the quality that they're asking for. Demanding and rebellious. My goodness. What a combination.
We certainly have the favorable wind today. It's a good trip. Yes, thanks. It also helps that the ship moves a little faster now. Mr. Oliver. Uh, is that rocks on our starboard Ooh. side? Yeah, it's very shallow. No, it certainly is. Ooh. Pretty shallow all around us here. Just have to be careful. Let me take uh, some precautions and go around these rocks. Yeah, I see some ahead of us over there. They were peeking through the water occasionally. Well, the ship turned so quickly. Ugh. It's almost like a trap. Mm. Alright, look at the size of that uh, rock wall over there. Yeah, look at that. Looks like the that, remains. That's, that's more of a hall breaker. Looks right. like the remains of some sort of building, almost. I would somewhat build way out here. We're in C4. Good thing this is a small ship. If it was a much larger ship, it'd be a lot of trouble. Mm-hmm. You could put a house out here on that little rock. You just needed a small place to live. Your own island. It's a lighthouse. Perhaps it was a lighthouse once upon a time and it fell into disrepair when the city was becoming so popular. to remember next time we come this way. Oh, oh there's a couple uh, of boxes. Jolly O. Oh. Next time we come this way, definitely give uh, this very large strange island a large berth. Yeah, definitely. Uh, does any of these crates have any seed in them? Oh, they have to use this seed squeezer. If we go to an island with salt, it may have some different types of plants there as well. If you're going to do cooking, we should probably collect plants and try to get seed. Ooh, okay. Now some salty plants. What type of plants would be uh, salty? Mm, like chilies, maybe. Ooh. Salty chili. Uh, peppers. I don't like the way these clouds are starting to look. No, no, these not corns. Now. Not here, not now. 
I've learned if you look in the opposite direction, things are so much easier. Mm. I was trying to look. See where you've been. I haven't found any seeds in a box. But we got another fuel shipment in that last one. Last one? Oh. oh, good, good. I didn't realize we were coming close to a transition. Hmm, no. It was very foggy. All of a sudden the storm's gone though. Alright, we went to the south, okay. Well, let's take a look then. Oh, we haven't been hot here either, and there's no storm, so... It's got my vote. That's pretty good. Wind is not cooperating, but other than that, it's pretty quiet over here compared to where we came from. Alright, there's a bit of a small island over here we can take the wind to. Alright. Well, maybe easier to see boxes now as well. The moon always reflects right off the locks on them. It's like a dust cloud over his, on our starboard cloud, uh, starboard side. Maybe a right. sandstorm. Looks like a desert island. I learned something the hard way the other day. Never look in the wood shipments or the fuel shipments until you're <laughs> at home. No, you don't look in the box. No. Sometimes there's a lot more than you think. Right, it just all sort of comes spilling out and you can't really contain it anymore. So like I said, those boxes start crumbling when you pull them out of the water. can't imagine the uh, tragedy that could happen if you uh, open an oil shipment and it just sort of flies everywhere. Maddox was probably pretty tricky too. Now you look in the box and it's a lot more in there than you thought. That's the shipment we need, a box of salt. Mm, I'm right. kind of feeling lucky on this. Right. No, you. Yeah, I think so. It looks very dusty, like a desert. Uh, you're seeing, seeing dust clouds swirling already. Probably so. He's got dust clouds on the brain today. I think while you're up there, you might need to get a drink of water from there. You seem to be getting a bit dry. Is that because he's old? Yeah, his elbows look like walnuts. 
the doctor gave him lotion. Was a friend. Uh, coming up to a, a crate straight in front of you. Ramming speed. Done, Elias. Man of many skills. Well, we have about nine of those chests and about six coin purses and some weapons. Oh. Well, that's quite the haul. That was, what, maybe five or six boxes? Yeah. Uh, perhaps this is because the old one is feeling lucky. Yeah, the old one. Could be. I see lights on the port side in the woods and I see crocodiles on the same side yeah they're really big really scary looking oh it's a fire Those crocodiles are always lurking Looking for salt along the shore. Right. I was thinking maybe on the mainland by the big rocks, but I figured uh, we could always come through here quickly as well. Yeah, we'll try. What's that there? Uh, I don't know. Is it just stones or seashells, maybe? I think it's just stones. Yeah, I think it's stones. I wonder why those small stones are so much different color from the rest of the stone. I don't know. Appears to be an owl in the sky. I see a sheep. Uh, I noticed uh, one of the clothing uh, requires fleece. Oh. Let's see if we can find something it likes to eat. All ashore is going ashore. Right. Those bilberries here. 
Yeah, I'm gonna get some and put them in the squeezer and get seed out of them. Like some. There's Shasandra here too. And parsley. Yeah, you can't have enough parsley. No, it makes sense. The sheep likes these berries right here where we found it. Oh, that makes sense. That's why it's here. That's a beautiful sheep. Oh, there's another one. Mm, those little round rocks you were looking at was granite. It looks like they all do, maybe. Doesn't look like a cedar tree, but I guess it is. In the same fashion that uh, our palm trees are some strange oak. Yeah, they are. It's kind of strange, isn't it? Well, I can't tell if they're worth anything, then. Hmm. Uh, do, do either you or Bargo have a pair of scissors? I don't. I do. You do? Well, I wouldn't want you to try this just yet, as you'll spook this, uh, the sheep here. Uh, but once this one wants to come with us to the, to the ship, uh, you can try to, uh, share a bit of sheep off of those wild ones before they run away. Uh -huh. A bit of wool. I should be, uh, maybe four more minutes or so. Alright. I don't see anything dangerous around, so I think we're fine. Anybody seen Elias? I saw him go off in the woods. Oh, in the woods. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that's fine. Had to use the restroom. You never know. Looking for a nice bush somewhere. Mm, I was going to recommend uh, cotton, but uh, there's only jute here.
you say something? You looking for cotton? I found some. All this purple stuff is cotton. I don't know if we need it for certain clothing. Oh, or oh anything. yes, yes. Killed it. Ooh. Oh, you got the whacker knocked out. Let's yep. see. They use the pig whacker. Yeah. You killed a tiger. Ooh, oh, that's tiger. Yeah, that sounds dangerous. That sounds dangerous. That does. But with Elias, we don't have to worry too much. Um, is there any maze around here? Mm, I didn't see any. We can. You can glance around a little bit more once Stanley's freed up. Uh, I got us some cotton for our clothes. It's a uh, little purple flowers. I didn't see that. That was a good eye. Yeah, I think uh, I think some clothes require a little cotton. They're a little uh, purpley flower looking thing. No, the things we do for Bogart and his divisions. Bogart and your divisions. Well, I, I'm I'm just thinking of some better threads. Uh, I also found some cotton, yeah, kind cotton. of a purpley right. flower. Right. Did you want to look for anything else? The cow and the bull were back this way. Not to uh, I think I think just looking for the salt and then probably moving to another island. Right. I didn't see any salt. I didn't go too far. Didn't want to lure any creatures this direction. Elias. He's behind us. Yes. Now look at this white bird with oh, green there you feet. Are. Look at that. Oh, what a beautiful feet it has. If only I could fly on it. It's too small. It's almost the right size, though. For you. It appears to be wet here. This isn't even like a, uh, like a castaway desert, it's more of a resort here. Yeah, sort of. It's like it's f uh, freshly rained in the desert. Elias saw a tiger. He smacked it around. 
Now, did you teach her a lesson, Elias? Did it run off? I used the pig whacker on it. More purple flowers over here, Boglet. Something there in the sand, what is that? There's a, a white stone. There's a strange looking metal. I've never seen uh, copper uh, corrode and turn white before. Just nitro. Look like salt. Almost. It's almost salt. There's another cow right there. Also looking for some sort of maze or corn if we see anything like no, that. No, what are these over here? Some sort of barrier of okay. vegetables. Oh yeah, that's just Sandra, I think. Some wild cactus. More bilberries. Alright, I suppose uh, we won't find what we're looking for here. Oh, I don't see so. Try again. I would have seen it by now, I feel like. Right, I believe so as well. Alright, All right. back to the ship. On to the next island. No hurry out from underneath this rock, you never know when it's going to fall. Very tilty. I saw an owl in the sky earlier. Really? Yeah, had a very round head. Hello, cow. Lillian, what are you doing here? No, hello there. Is this your island? Yeah. Hello. I was sorry about that. I had uh, something stuck in my throat there. Now I'm visiting oh, the island too. I ain't, uh, I ain't from here. Checking out the place. Oh, all right. We're just looking for foods and salt. If you really yeah, cross... I didn't find any salt yet on the island. I haven't seen none of that. And the food, though, uh, I think there's a cat. I don't know if you got some cactus. There's cactus around. Oh, yeah, we got some of that. There's just Sandra. There's, there's a couple of different types of herbs here, too. Oh, there's like. some oh, yeah, cotton yeah. as well. If you like to uh, have some better threads, a little softer threads. Oh, yeah. Yeah, where I'm from, there ain't much cotton, so I'm making sure to stock up on that before I head on back. <laughs> yeah, it's a little purpley flower. It's right here. Yeah. This is cotton. Yep, I got a couple of those. All right. Oh, pleasure. Thanks for the information, though. Good yeah, of luck course. on your quest for salt. I'm, I'm trying to find that too. Maybe one day uh, it'll be out there. All right. All right. Well, good luck to you. Good have luck. you been? To, have you been to the island just to the south of here? Uh, no, I haven't. I was gonna go there next, though. All right. Yeah, we'll head that way as well then. All right. Well, maybe I'll see you there then. <laughs> All right. I 
other words, we better rush and get all this out. I would have hated to travel all the way and find no salt. And had him already known that it was, wasn't going to be there. Oh, yeah, that's true. I'm going to think about something. Uh, Bogger, can I ask something a bit uh, unusual of you? Uh, sure. Can I ask you to uh, climb on the sheep? Yeah, that feels better. Ah, it does feel better. I'm glad you got me a seat, finally. A nice, woolly-type seat. So fluffy. I, I suppose you got a bit concerned as well. Uh, yes. Onward we go. All right, uh, just give me a second. Need to get a sip of water. Elias, did you accomplish one of your live streams fighting a tiger? I tried to run away, but it caught me. I'm sure you taught it the error of its ways. I did. I whacked it a couple of times. It scratched me pretty good, though. No, no. You gotta do some mending of your, uh, clothing when you get back. ship on our port. Mm, I don't see it now. What? I think you're seeing a mirage from the heat of the island. Maybe. Can you back that sheep just a bit away from the rail? I'm getting uh, concerned that it's going to want to toss you right over. I'm afraid we catch uh, one heavy wave the wrong way and you go uh, head over feet right off the side. Yeah. Head, uh, head over sheep, maybe. Yeah, I'm so glad you're thinking of my well-being. That's so nice of you. Well, you're clutching that sheep so much, you'll take it right over with you. Probably.
Yeah, there's some type of small vessel behind us, or whatever. It's the uh, the man we met on the island. Probably so. Looks similar to this ship. There's another one up ahead to the starboard. Oh, yeah. Look at you on that sheep. You don't even need a saddle. No, it's nice. That's handy. A bit strange to have sheep wandering, uh, wandering through the hot desert with all that wool on them. Ship back on the starboard side. Are you volunteering? No, not me. No. No. I need to get one of those lanterns uh, that I can see in the dark. You think a lantern can work underwater? That doesn't sound right. Right. How would the flame continue to go without snuffing itself out? Yeah, I'd burn out all the oxygen pretty quick down there if it was enclosed in something. Yeah, that's not possible. You couldn't have a flame down there. a larger island than I thought it might be. Looking at it from a distance, it didn't look this big. No, it certainly didn't. Mountains add to it, I guess, too. a very uh, dramatic uh, growing approach. Yeah, it is. Uh, if the boat behind us was uh, that same gentleman from the island, then he must have a tub because we're outpacing him. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't call it a tub to him, but... That's what they're calling them on the seas, the tubs. Uh, row, oh, row, minute. row your tub. We're certainly not outpacing him. He's just over there off the port now. Look at that. I, I thought he faded off to the distance. He's, he's just tacked in a new direction. Yeah, he's not in one of those little thatch boats at all. Not really a ship when it's, when it's a tub, right? It's just a boat. Yeah, he's kicking up salt spray everywhere over there. Look at that. Now the mouth of this cove here looks so uh, exceedingly dangerous and shallow. Uh, I wouldn't go in there then. We can circle around the... oh. No, oh, hey. Couldn't see the shipyard over there. It's hidden in the smoke with fogginess. Sandstorm. Ooh, I see some... I see some stones on the beach. They look promising. Ah, yes. I think I see some. Mm. Yeah, that looks, that looks like that could be salt. Someone's coming down the shipyard. Oh. All right, that's it. Everybody off. All right. What's this then? Now, Bogart, taste some of that. Tell me what you think it is. Flake salt. Very flaky, so I think it's flake salt.
Nice to meet you, Chip. Yes, nice to meet you. Hey. Hello there. Hello, Chip. Hello there. We just have something Chip. around. This fish. How are you? I couldn't help but notice the colors on the uh, ship as we came up. It looks beautiful. Oh, yeah. yeah. I haven't seen such a nice looking ship. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, are you much of a treasure hunter? Ah, uh, no, I'm a fisherman. Oh, a fisherman. Oh, I, I had some maps uh, in case you're interested. Yeah, no, no, I'm I'm, I'm a fisherman. That's a you know, go out, collect fish, uh, gut them, take out the caviar, make fine cuts of fish, and you know white white fish meat. Oh, oh neat. Yeah. Uh, I like how your clothing matches your ship. Yep, that's kind of Thank nice. you. Here again, looks like y'all got this all you wanted. Oh, there you are. <laughs> yes, so we did. did. Some. Real nice, real nice. Yes, we were looking for salt and also looking for different cooking ingredients than what we have on our island. Our island's a bit more tropical than this one. What kind right. of... You got, y'all got beans and rice already? Oh, yes, we do. All right, now I ain't got anything for you. <laughs> Have another day. Yeah, you as well. That's why Bye. Have we run that gentleman on the on the uh, next island north? Happen uh -oh. to be going the same direction. Yes. <laughs> I mean yes, the well. the whole the whole cooking thing. Like I said, I do I do uh you know I I cut up uh, some fine pieces of fish that you know. Sometimes are used in recipes, and I don't know if you know you guys would be interested, but uh, that's you know that's what I trade in is usually fish caviar. Uh, oh, caviar. Of... It's also the... little squishy eggs. Yeah, it's fish eggs. You're supposed to be a cook, aren't you? Going to learn what? <laughs> Gotta learn what all these things are. There's a lot of stuff out here. Well, we're a little bit of everything, but we also were running an oddities museum filled with strange and unusual. We'll be opening when we can, but we're not quite ready yet. Our delivery of the mm. oddities has not arrived, so when it does, we'll be ready. Oh, okay. Mm. Sounds... I'm definitely interested in that. Yeah, uh, please let us know when you have that open. Yeah, yeah we'll let you know. Yeah, we'll post uh, a sign on the, uh, on the Freeport to uh, Bagad Oddities Museum. Bugard Oddities Museum. Look for it at your local free port. We'll, we'll let you know when we open. It's not not yet, but soon. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, do you happen to have any maize or corn around? Uh, I'm not sure. We really haven't explored the island. I've just been uh, gathering some resources here to start building uh, into the shipyard here. All right. Well, we don't mean to stop you. We just wanted to say hello. We were out looking salt and cooking ingredients for for Bogart to do some testing. All right, all right. If you if you ever in need of any uh you know fish cuts or caviar, you well you know where to find me. You know if I'm not here, you know I'm you probably on fish. All right, very good. Well, that's nice. To meet if you he's not here, he's out he in the fine. ocean collecting more fish. Uh, so yep. we can leave a. And leave a note, and uh, he, he can uh, let us, uh, or, you, you know, we leave a note. Yep, yep. <laughs> Is this where you make your home, or do you live aboard the ship? Uh, I spend most of my time on the ship, but she needs a place to put everything that she collects. She's kind of a hoarder. Oh, Stop, it's not that bad of a problem. I, I just Her like ship collecting. is completely heavy. It's full. collection. <laughs> have everything though it's you gotta complete your collections you don't i hate throwing things away i, I keep everything Just keep you, you, you never know when you might need the kitchen sink exactly uh, you, you never know when you need it that's kind of why we were keeping something here. down you know so she could empty the ship because i can't yeah, so you can't get mad at me for keeping everything yeah there you do so we were uh just in the next uh, map grid to the uh, west of here, on the uh, northwest island. Had okay. plans of uh, sort of establishing a small community. And there's just the four of us now. And once the museum comes up, uh, hopefully that'll draw some interest in. Oh yeah, definitely. People like saying mm. odd things. Strange and unusual objects. 
Mm, yeah. Right. Well, we just wanted to say hello. We won't stop you from doing your harvesting, but hello. Yep. You guys have a safe travels. day and safe travels, safe sails. No, you don't mind if we well. grab a bit more salt over here before we leave, do you? Yeah, no. Okay. Go ahead and grab it all. Yeah. All right. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. That yeah, was a pleasure. No, uh... bargain. I'll sort down here. I'm tired. I ran all the way down the beach. Oh, this is not uh, flake. This is rock. No, yeah, most of the salt that I've picked up has been rock salt. I've got almost 2,000 sold on me. Feeling yeah, a bit heavy. Yeah, about the same. Not super heavy, but a bit heavy. That's a beautiful ship, isn't it? Oh, yes. It's very the nice. The fish. Thank you again. We keep taking Bogatha away from her building. Oh, it's fine. It's all right. I was building pretty quickly today to make up the difference. But we did find salt, so that's a good thing.
Right, we've got almost uh, 3,500 units of salt. Well, I, I accidentally did something wrong. I put uh, some of the resources in that small box. Oh, no, we got a new chest now. Oh, we've got much more than that. <laughs> we, we, we got more civilized since then. Now I don't know. Well, Fish and his lady were nice. Yeah, they were. I could never figure out if the ship was named Chips, or was he talking about the lady? Is that her name, Chips? Not sure. I'm not sure either. I thought he said his name was Chips and that the, the ship was named Fish. Oh, is that it? I'm getting older. I don't know. I'm not mm. sure. I walked up and you were already talking. Yeah. Stanley may be right. Yeah, Stanley's probably right. Does there look like a dock over there? Inside that small bay? There was. Yeah. a couple of docks. Yeah, I see it. It's kind of a little dusty over there. Right. There's a good place to get salt between us and the dock. I don't know if you see that really flat spot way out in the water, but it's loaded with salt all over the top of it. Oh, right, right. Good spot because there's not a lot of creatures around to, you know, befoul the salt. All right, so where she's, to? She's so wise. Yeah, wise. You don't want to be fouled salt. You want the clean salt. You have to wash your salt. Make sure it's right. Doesn't matter to me. We certainly don't have the wind in our favor now. Oh, uh, no. But it's because we're going home, right? I've never gone home and had the wind be in my favor. It's always when you're out adventuring. And when you're ready to go home, there's only one way home, right? And the wind is never the right way. It's just life. It's life on the open ocean. How we suffer. Uh, uh, we're, we're one grid east of home, and uh, one grid east and one grid north of the Freeport. So, to the Freeport? Yeah, those boxes kind of expire within certain hours. All right. No, if anyone had anything that they needed to do back at the, uh, at the town, we could always swing through there, grab the other boxes, and let anyone off who needed to go. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, fine. If, if no one them. needs to go, then, uh, we can always just head straight there. You can head straight there, it's fine as well. Alright. Are there those rocks ahead of us? Yes. Yeah, it's very shallow. I think it's sandbanks. Yeah. Kind of a rough area here. Bogath and me have time to do little buildings still. I can stop at home and do the building if I need to. It's it's fine if we need to go to the Freeport. I'm in no hurry tonight. Okay. I had to rush when I could. I knew we might get out. Right, right. Yeah, it's just uh, trying to accommodate everyone. Every everything that people want to do and need. Yeah, that's fine. I'm a, I'm in no huge rush. It's all right. Is the sheep going to sleep in the house with us? Ugh. Ooh, you, you, you're going to make me a bed out of it? Have you tried to share it? Oh, I you forgot. Those, uh, those scissors now. Yeah, I could do Yeah, I could share it. But it, it's it's awful. It, it's, it's giving me a nice pad right now. Right, it won't be as comfortable of a ride if you did that yet. Yeah, it'd be kind of a little bit ribby, I think. Ribby. That's its name, Ribby. The 
Do you want to have a seat, Elias? You're welcome. I'm okay, thank you. Alright, I'll just worry your legs are getting tired. Have a seat as well, stand there if you like. Who's gonna drive the ship? I don't know. I'm not the greatest, but I could try. I wonder if I can grab hold of the wheel from here and steer us. Right. Yeah, I'll just use the sheep. We can try it out. I'll ride the sheep and you can steer. That's fine. Now, wouldn't that be a sight? See me riding a sheep as I'm steering the boat. <laughs> I just have the sheep standing sideways. You can just put one arm out there on the wheel, real casual like. It's yeah. a good thing. It's a good thing the sheep is so small. You don't even need a saddle. That makes it nice. So, uh, Bagatha, uh, do you think we can use the sheep in the museum in any form or fashion? I'm sure, I'm sure. We'll, we'll use it for the wool, but, you know, there, there could be a tale to tell. I've, I've got my, I've got my notation. I'll, I'll go through and see. And a very small fleecy tail. Yeah, small. Looking at the tail right now, it's more like a nub. Back at the, back at the old museum, uh, uh, we had a sheep. Uh, it was on top of a smokestack. Yeah, that's that. Yes. Don't tell the tale. We no, I'm not going. Not going to tell the tale. But uh, the sheep uh, had mystical powers. It would always want to follow you home. And I always tricked everybody by having a second sheep that would come and look outside the window as they were leaving. Now you're telling the tale. I told you don't tell the tale. You know, you're giving away the secret. No, he certainly did just tell the entire tale. The whole tale, just, I can't stop myself, he said. Oh, there's a large ship up ahead. Oh. All right. Still telling how many ships are out here today. Right, I've seen quite a few uh, sails on the horizon. Yeah. Many of them small. This is the first larger ship I've seen out here. Mm. Yeah, that's true. I had a very uneventful trip to the Freeport the other day. That was a good thing. Mm, all right. Quite a few voices in the Freeport, though. It was a busy day. It's always busy at the Freeport. Yeah, there there was quite a few bodies uh, laying in a pile at the Freeport. Right. Good. Yeah, I noticed it, it looked like someone had come in and organized the bodies and sort of stacked them like cold wood. Have you ever seen a room completely stacked full of bodies? Just bodies, bodies, bodies in a room. Was, I saw that one time. Mm -hmm. Or that didn't even have a door on the room. And bodies were just piled as high as you could see. It looked Everyone like they had a wild just... party, too. I don't know. Because they had no clothes on. Stacked with, uh, with cattle carcasses, but never very human bodies. Mm. No, this was just human bodies. Who would do such a thing? can't imagine. Sounds like an oddity. Now hopefully coming through this uh, shimmer to the next area will make me feel a bit younger, get some of the ache out of my knees.
if we ever get there with this wind. I pull a bones that do feel achy. Can you ask that sheep to eat anything in particular? Never know when you're, when you're out looking for stuff. I don't know if it can claw the ground with its hooves and find any kind of extra roots or anything. I'm not sure either. I don't know. I know, mm. I know it's good for the wool, but uh, beyond that, I'm not sure. That's probably it. Yeah, I think it's the wool. Uh, the rest of it is slow and... And, and if you get anything on you, it gets even slower. Slower. And slower. Until it becomes dead. Stop. Dead? What do you mean dead? It looks fine. Still blinking its eyes. Look at that, it can move. It's not dead. Strange for such calm seas and dead wind down here that there are uh, not more boxes just rolling about in the waves. No boxes at all. <sighs> Picked. I guess when you see them, you get them. Because if you don't, you're not gonna see them again. That's what it seems like, anyhow. Picked clean. Seas picked clean. I've noticed there's a lot of boxes that seem like around those, those interestingly weird ships. I wonder if they are sinking uh, regular ships and then they're burping their cargo out and it floats up to the surface. Mm, speaking of burping, we're approaching the shimmer. You afraid that anchor's gonna swing again, aren't you? Mm. Some clanginess to it. I think it's the chain. Get back there, Elias. Right, right. I'm gonna keep a lookout for it. Alright, let's be careful. Haunted anchor. Hold on tight to Ribby there, Bogart. Make sure she doesn't get scared and book off of the ship. Okay. If she does, you'll come back and get me right. Well, you just... You just start swimming. I can't hear anything. We're going through the shimmer. What did he say? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, well, we got wind, son. But it is raining. The poor wet chair has never dried. Now it's getting wet again. Oh no. Submarine. Where are we at? No, I can deal with the wind for rain like this, no problem. Or rain for wind like this, rather. That's nice. Just wait. Some good... Just wait till it stops raining, and then, then, then the wind's going to go in the opposite direction. Are you a weatherman, Bogart? Nah, uh, just a realist. Probably the storms. 
probably those thatch ships that they're giving people at the free port. They're probably sinking eventually. If you don't get rid of them and get yourself something that's not a tub. Well, certainly not uh, worth going to look at the wreckage then. You never know. I'm eating cactus, it's, it's prickly. You're not supposed to eat the outside of it, Bogatha. What? You're supposed to peel that away. Oh. Alright. Next time. At least it's just rain. That's nice. That's true. The pillars. Hopefully it's a bit drier over here. I hope so. These are unusually strange here. It worries me. I feel like the water gets really a lot deeper. Well, the wind is uh, in our favor, though. Yeah, it is. There's a box over here. Stop inside.
Oh, that was a good shot. That was a very good shot. Thank you. I feel like I let go of it sometimes and it veers off in a strange direction. There's a big ship off to the starboard side. Right, I think that, uh... One of them may be the same one. Probably. It's about the same size. There's not a lot of large ships out, mostly tubs. Not so many rafts anymore, though. Times are changing. Oh. Right, the raft used to be the uh, standard daily commuter. Sure, everyone had to have a raft. We were, we were all in competition. Who has the best raft? Just like that, it was all over. Now everyone's, then, then everyone was interested in tubs. Who had the best tub on the seat? Now that's over. My goodness, how the times change. These modern day times. What will it be next? What will everyone want next? There's no telling. The next thing you know, they'll want one of those glowing things over there. That's right. Yeah, we're remember pretty. When you, remember when everyone wanted a bucket? Wow, I mean, that, those were the days. That was so long ago now. Seems like a bad dream. Yeah, that does. It really, really does. I had a bad dream. Allergies were back. That's, uh, no, not, not the allergies again. Please. I'm gonna sneeze from the from any kind of flowers. Just, just leave them. Maybe it's those sugar plants. Yeah. We I certainly hope that. so. Or I certainly hope not. That it's not that again. Oh, not again. We can fondly look back on it now. Oh, remember sugar days? Oh. My goodness. We've come so far now. Now you, uh, have a strange, uh, recollection of things you like to look at fondly. Well, I'm always on the lookout for the, for the strange, you know. It's, it's just part of the business, the business. Hold on, approaching the shimmer. sounded like it really swung that time. Yeah, I think it frightens the sheep. It seems to jump around every time it hears the clanging of the anchor. Yeah, uh, at one point I think it threw me off. Ugh, I didn't see that. 
just feels like it probably. The way it's spinning around, it probably makes your head spin and you think, oh, I'm off. But you know, you're fine. Glad the mutes are wearing pants. I've seen people with mutes with no pants on. Yeah, maybe if we give them some better clothes, they may, may not complain as much. I can try. They seem pretty content, though. I'd say it gets hot. I don't know. How would you know? Well, the wind is flowing, I guess. Yeah, that's true. All that good wind we had earlier now. Yeah. Yes, we are. You always pay eventually. At least we're getting some wind. The really bad wind will be on the way home. It always is. Still almost seems faster than two rafts. Oh, definitely faster. Thankfully. Right, we have to think about all the salt we're carrying as well. That's true. We have a lot of capacity, but uh, we're carrying quite a bit of salt now. Yeah. And the boxes. And the sheep. And Boggart. It's all better than two rafts, if we had that thing. The tub, if we had it out trying to trudge through the waters with all this stuff. We have to decide what to keep and what to throw overboard. Now what would you throw over first? Mm, don't know. We could throw over that large pail of water. We'd be thirsty, but... We just have to head home, I guess. I don't know. Oh, there it goes. We could let go of the anchor. It's haunted anyhow. Just drop it overboard. junk from the boxes. Was... No, I took a very heavy box to the Freeport the other day to have it examined. Luckily they didn't charge me to look at it because after they looked in that box that weighed about a hundred pounds, they, they only found three pieces of paper that had some sort of blueprints for gates. Hmm. That's all I got the other day, was just some papers with some drawings. I hate that. And the box is so heavy. Why do you make a hundred pound box to put three pieces of paper in? It doesn't make any sense. No. Not in the least. Hopefully there's something worth going to the Freeport for. We will see. Right. There's a couple of items that we could get identified that may be, may be worth it. Yeah. Or, uh, yeah, maybe something in a box. We'll see. 
Oh. Some of those lovely blueprints. I think if we stack those blueprints up in an outhouse somewhere, someone would take advantage of them? Put them to use? No, if we Maybe. put them where? If we what? No, if we put them where? An outhouse. Someone could get some use out of them. That's, that's actually probably the best use. You're onto something. Yeah, but nice and clean. She's so wise. I try. I'm always thinking about things, how the world works. You gotta think through these things. It's all the years that have gone under the, under the ship, so to speak. Keeps the mind thinking all the time about the future. Things are moving so fast now. Modern times, woo! Don't forget to grab a coin purse or two in case you see something you like. Right, thank you. Yeah, I need to see if I can find some recipe books. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. That'll help us all. Do you know any books on tools, Elias? Yeah, I think I read one. Now there's probably a few more out there that, uh, that uh, you can read. Coming in with a raid. Maybe. Welcome, everyone. I'll take a look. How was your stream, Dub? Welcome everyone. I'm IT Guy TV playing Bloggert Slime. We're working on creating a new By God Oddities Museum. <laughs> good. Good, good, good. Two buckets in this box. Over here, one has it's always fun one having nice an entertaining one chat. In the bottom. Look at the hole. I wonder if that's that one we saw the other day that had a hole in the bottom. Could be. We're on our way to the free port. It'll be a little bit of slow go, just uh, starting out with, but we're starting to pick up speed on what we need now, so. You know, like when uh, you've got food in the oven and you can smell it, but it's not done yet. You can almost taste it. Oh, That's the way I feel when I'm sailing through uh, no winds directly towards the freeport from halfway across the grid. Oh, yeah, that's right. The anticipation. Hurry. And oft often it's the same thing as well. I've been waiting for a uh, half hour to an hour, sometimes five hours. And you finally get that food. It's not quite what you expected it to be. That's the way I look at the free boats. Oh. Yeah, it's more like the freak pork, but then, yeah, I understand. In that situation, what are the people at the free port? All the voices and voices. Is that, is that the stuff that falls into the bottom of the oven and burns? Oh no. Yeah, that's what all the uh, all the sleeping bodies laying everywhere are. It's just the, yeah. the dried the dried bits of cheese at the bottom of the oven. Yeah, that's right. All the sauces that have hardened. What a mess. There's quite a bit of ship traffic here. Yeah. A lot of shipwrecks too. If only yeah. I had a, 
diving attachment. Clean up these waters. Clean up. Definitely quite a few. Yeah, I'm just the right height to get down in there, get between the boards and and and, and clear out the treasures that's hidden in those uh, shipwrecks. There's a there's a book I might be able Have to buy. Night, Deb. Thanks for the raid. To another another level of building. It's got some blueprints in there I can read on. Look in this uh, box okay. to the starboard side. There's a right. couple of coin places in there that you could take with you. All right, I got one and I got three silver out of it, but I may need two more silver. Should right, I keep right. opening the purses and see what's in them? I believe so. Go ahead. Kind of like a jackpot. Maybe I there's 300 any... gold in there. Oh my. I said I never dream big enough. Ooh, I opened one more purse and now I got enough. I got eight silver. There was five silver in that one purse. Very nice. Yeah, that was nice. There's still some purses in there if anyone needs them. Mm, I'll probably need some. Five silver out of one, three silver out of another one, and I got 23 pieces of copper out of one. I need to check that uh, uh, treasure guy and see if he has any more grapples for sale. That could be good. Right. You should definitely take some silver with you as well. Well, that interesting mermaid today or something, it's, it kind of look like a dolphin, a dolphin. It was hard to tell. It didn't look like all of it was a dolphin. Just the bottom end. It's hard to tell the difference between a regular dolphin and a dolphin sometimes. Yeah, yeah that's true. You hear the, the, the dolphins will uh, eat lots of fish, but the dolphins will eat lots of tropical fruits. Oh, is that what they have? My goodness. Where do they get them? They're just, uh, people throwing them all over the side. They just rely on charity. That's what it is. Okay. Uh, they've almost That's a bit of they're... domesticated. They've just become, uh, adapted to be, uh, dependent on humans now. You know, that completely explains why we don't see fruit floating in the ocean. It all makes sense now. Yeah, we're coming into port, so... Uh, you probably wouldn't want to park all the way on the other end of the island and have to run forever. How would you so know that? Not? I, I parked down there on the starboard side the other day. How would you know that it was really shallow down there, about it? Hmm, I, I don't know. Oh, there's a nice sharp rock off on the port side. Just yeah. waiting for somebody not to see the waves. There's a busted up ship over there as well. Oh, I guess that's why. <laughs> they, they didn't see it and they hit it. Uh, looks like if a you, tree perhaps. If you look down here to the, uh, just off the bow, the end of the island, there's sort of a, uh, uh a Be careful, bay. this ship is looking to cut you off. Coming through. But just slow down. Let them yeah. I parked the sloop in there, uh, just in that little protected bay down here at the end. Yeah, we tried. So shallow. Worrisome. Everyone's gonna want one of those larger ships eventually. They're not gonna be happy with this size anymore. It's coming soon, I have a feeling. Yeah. It's like when no one wanted the rafts anymore. Why not? I mean, it's a perfectly valid way to get around. Yeah, or the, or the new tub. The tub. Yeah. 
tub. Ship made out of thatch. Who in the world would make a ship out of thatch? Don't even know what they smeared on the thatch to make it repel water for a short amount of time. Just a grifter, that's who. Someone who knows that, uh, beggars can't be choosing. That's right. Just swindler. Swindling the poor people here. Oh, well, they took my spot. <laughs> Actually, yeah. there's a little raft parked there on my spot. Wow. <laughs> Prepare for ramming speed. <laughs> Very good, Stanley. We got here in record time. It was wonderful. I liked it. The nice wind between my ears. Wind between your ears. Now we set a new record for how, how long you can take on the water to get to the Freeport. Yeah, that's right. We got here really, really fast. And we didn't get uh, uh, pirated. The company record. This rudder is so nimble. That's what Mr. Oliver was showing us, that the ship really whirls around. You know, the other day I parked a reasonable distance to shore, I thought. But I was uh, a little too close to shore. And I uh, couldn't quite jump and reach the ladder. I had to keep running and jumping from shore and trying to make it. That's aggravating. So I've learned uh, just to stay out just a bit more and swim out to the ladder. That's true. Mm, I got uh, like six, six silver and a couple of copper. Just whisper it, whisper it. All right, I got quite a few of the boxes. Elias, if you can get the remaining boxes and items. Will do. I got three of the big ones. If I need to carry something, I will. I was afraid the sheep was really heavy on the ship and I was trying to get off. No, no, it's not heavy anymore. We've got enough salt on the on the uh, boards. It's fine. We can all stand freely. We got it. All right. Let me take some time to relax and get all these tools off me. These tools always just hanging all over me. Yeah. It's a lot. My poor belt. I don't know how it holds up to all the tools hanging. You want me to help carry something, Stanley? No, no, I'm fine. Just taking a bit of time. Okay. Slow poke. What are you talking slow? I'm a I'm hundred years old. Have you been slow? Have you been slow for a hundred years? Maybe. You're the oldest, but I'm tallest. But I was and mom's like fa a, favorite. It's like quite a larger ship over there that's been sunk. Look at that. Why would you bring a ship that size this far inland? They probably, ugh, it's a bad choice. Could be one of those thatch ships. Maybe they're making them larger now. Really, really large, nice looking ship, but weak. Just crumble. Crumble at the shoreline when you get it home. Imagine having this much fiber laying around us back on the <laughs> island. No, I don't. No. There's some metal through here if you ever need it. Ooh. Oh, and just as much fiber as you can swim through. Oh. The fiber. Now we're going to lose quite a bit of weight with these uh, items, so we'll probably grab a bit of the metal on the way back. Right. Will do.
hello there. Are you looking to shoot someone? I want to. Elias, you cheeky. You ran around the other side. I didn't even see you. Just got a fresh shipment of tea if you're interested. Thanks for stopping by. Afternoon. Listen, I appreciate the business and all, but you gotta stop coming around so frequently or people are gonna think something else is going on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hello there! Sorry, so down. Oh well. Okay, bye bye now. No, uh, ball good. Yes. And I opened some more boxes over there and they gave me more papers to put in the outhouse. Oh, perfect. Did you find any books you needed? Um, I haven't really looked yet. Uh, All right. I was, uh, 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 yeah, I was just looking for something. All right. And no hurry. Let's get rid of this junk first. It probably won't have anything of value. You again? Well. That bad just wandering through here, trampling on things. Ready to get cooking? <laughs> Yeehaw! Yeah, I can't put that down yet.
right then. Enjoy fixing your fixings. Seems like some, I guess it's a shady spot, probably. It's maybe. I don't quite know. I I just got done doing some murder hobo stuff. So the perfect timing. I just invented a new recipe. Hope to see you again. Ah, welcome back. All right, bye bye. Looking to cook or mix today, darling? Hope to see you again. And nobody wanted to give him any money. That's a shame. The poor, the poor guy. Oh, hello. Hello. hello there. I am not in it, you know. You know, I'm not some of those people who just stand there and don't talk back. Do a lot of people try to think that you are, though, that you got something for sale, come up, see what you're selling? A lot of people do come up and like this. Thank, thank you, sir. Ooh, That's I, for the bear fund. Yeah, the bear. Oh, no, we don't need it. We're not trying to keep the bear. Please keep your money. I, I really don't. I don't really want the bear. Fittest around, if I am honest. So I'm not well, gonna feed it. I'm not gonna feed it. Maybe you can feed the dancing people. Yeah, we got we have for the dancers. We like entertainment. We do a little entertaining ourselves, you know. It's yeah, you, you need to avoid the lady in the front. Uh, she she does those private dances for you. She had the googly eyes for Elias earlier. It made me uncomfortable. Oh, yeah, she flirts with everyone. Don't take it personally. Or mm. do. I don't really care. Yeah, that's just a part job, probably. Hold on now, uh, which one was that? <laughs> you didn't see the entertainer in the front? She I really likes to squeeze Stanley. box, but I don't think she's talking about an accordion. Oh, okay. no. I can never tell when I come here which side is the front, which is the back, and which is the sides. Yeah, so I would stay away from a... that woman. She's actually probably got several diseases. Oh, right. She you may be the, one of the causes of all these sleepers. <sighs> and, you know, I, I would go along with that, but that would involve them going anywhere near her, and they don't usually. Oh, no. They just drop into a coma right on the spot after the joke. Oh, yeah, the jo it was a horrible joke, and they just kind of fall asleep and never wake up. That poor man. That, is... that guy's over there. Is he holding on for dear strength? But I mean, the guy's got like one more joke in him before the guy gives up. 
Yeah, he's got sturdy legs, but they're, they're wobbling already. I can he, see it. He looks petrified and frozen with terror. Yeah, he does. Well, first he was afraid, then he was petrified. Oh, oh right, right. <laughs> I always forget the escalation. Yeah, it's escalation. It's like when you start with a raft and then you move to the tub. You know, you gotta start somewhere. Yeah, uh, the, the Freeport vendor is now selling tubs instead of sloops. That's what they called it. We ran, we ran into someone who was trying to take things from us, and they said they probably don't have anything. They're just, they're just on a tub. And I said, this is a ship. It's a, it's a real ship. They gave it to us at the Freeport. We can't help it. We're doing the best we can. It probably would make a great beer until you're done with it, though. It doesn't really hold water very well. Yeah, well, that's why you put it in the ocean first. Then it, it's always holding water. Did you know it's made out of thatch? It's not even a wood ship. It's a thatch ship. It's the if, you weave, if you weave it really, really, really tight, I'm sure it's waterproof. Yeah, it's got something rubbed on it. It's rubbed into the thatch, make it waterproof. Maybe a wax or something. I can tell. I'm not a ship builder. I don't know how you. Know, you you seem like some really nice people. So I'll be honest with the, the kind of they use the adhesive, but they kind of boil all of the body parts from all the people that fall okay. asleep here. My goodness, well at least I just got done butchering them all. My goodness, <sighs> you're fine. You're fine. You're all awake. We're not going to sleep. That's for sure. No, don't do it here. Uh, well, well, well. There, there was an incident uh, back on the other island. Uh, I, I picked this uh, little whiskly, sugary flower, and next thing you know, it it seemed like the world crashed around me, and and I had to sleep for a long, long time. Well, you just, you just have allergies. We've told you. Yeah, and so now Wait, I've got this where allergic. Where did you say you found the grass? Uh, it's uh, just north of here uh, in the B. Five sector. That's fine. He's not as allergic as he used to be. He feels fine now. Right. We had that uh, that one full day of incidences where he just couldn't control himself, and then after that, things seemed to clear up. Yeah, we but got a can't... doctor on our island, and he he gave me some type of lotion to uh, rub on my uh, bum. Rub on your elbows. He said they look like walnuts. Wait, it... do you have an allergy to some sort of grass and? Solution is to rub ointment on your bum. Right, it's a it's a sugar grass. Where are you putting that grass? <laughs> it rhymes with grass. Bless you, sir. You sounded like you sneezed. Yeah, I sneezed. It's it's getting to him again. Oh yes, oh, I think it's weird. getting to me. You know, I hear they have these little capsules, and it's like lotion, and you load it up into a gun, and you can shoot it really fast at your eczema. What? In the... Did you hear that? Yeah, it sounds horrifying. I don't know. It sounds it probably, like probably, you know, I mean, if you have allergies, it probably would help with your allergies too, just like an eye drop or something. Well, it sounds pretty quick. Oh, an eye drop. Have you tried those? Well, yeah, and I, I, like a high velocity eye drop. Yeah, <laughs> possibly. What? A, that sounds like a modern miracle. We have all kinds Alec, of new things Alec, coming Alec, out. Alec, Alec, um, do you know the guy to technical crafting is? Technical crafting. Oh, he's on know. the far Wait, over the end over there. Uh, over there. Makes sense. Uh, uh, I think the fella in the far building next to it has a maybe. I think you were whispering, so they probably didn't hear that. that at all. Well, there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a town meeting going on. <laughs> How's it going, folks? Oh, hey, we're man, just I spreading really like rumors. Your voice. You sound really cool. Oh, thank you, thank you. You know, 89 years of, you know, does it to you. I almost said of smoking, but I quit that 10 years ago. Yeah, you know, I can't seem to give it up. It's a really addictive product. Honest, you know what? Don't let any Navy officers see you say that. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, I don't really touch that kind of stuff. It's more like the really addictive nicotine. Oh, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You say you're 89 years old. You say you're 89 years old. I am indeed. 
89 years I'm only 23. I can't seem to give up the cigarettes. Yeah, that's all right. I think Bogart's 100 years old. Yeah. He's our, he's our elder. And my twin sister, Bogart, says she's, she's 100, but uh, minus 15 minutes. I'm the younger one. I'm young. Bogart's the one that's old. In case you Oh, wonder. yeah. Oh, absolutely. Two damn old. My sister, same thing, like 88 or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you gotta beat, don't you? <laughs> yep, I got a year on us. Excuse us, sorry, we're kind of in the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're just crowding. Yeah, we're just trying to sneak in some rumors. Yeah, we're getting all the gossip. The Freeport gossip. You never know what's going around here. Oh, I got some I got some juice if you want some. I oh, already heard. Alright, so come on in closer a little bit. This is something that everyone's heard, so it's probably not gonna not gonna knock your shoe oh, up. God. Right, right, oh God! Right here. Oh I my Jesus bear, Christ! Oh, the bear's attacking. The bear, oh, never mind. The bear's happy. We'll leave it alone. It's fine. It's all right. They just bear. make room for the bear. Uh, what the hell? Hey there, Phil. You all right, buddy? Is yeah, this anyone's the, bear? Yeah, I don't think anyone's gonna reclaim really bear. That bear seems to be, um, you know, doing its own bear thing. It's just wandering. Look at that. Oh, oh that's right. very over the wall. He's, he's very dexterous. Oh. Yeah, I, bet, I don't know someone's stash. I think it's drunk. I see that. The but he got the thirst for blood. You know, we should probably keep this guy a little. You know, we're just gonna. Yeah, no, there you go. Oh, look out. Look out of the bear, folks. Come on through. God dang, uh, where you coming at? And he looks hungry. Have... He's looking at that guy sleeping, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah the guy sleeping's kind of the one that, that brought the bear in here. So, um, we're just trying to keep him a little safe, a little warm, maybe give him some Hey, Bella, you all right? Yo, wake up, Bella. It's going to be okay. Uh, oh, look. Yeah. Look, he, he's, he got up. We're doing good. You, you look great. You look like, you know, a million bucks minus plus or minus 12,000 bear scratches. Uh, I think I've never seen a bear in the Freeport. Yeah, it's not, it's not every day. Well, no, you Wait, so th this bear doesn't belong to anyone then? In the no, drunk, I basically. believe it's People. just a wild bear just wandering around. I don't think oh, it actually don't. belongs to anybody. Yeah, every day, honestly, this free boy. Go, it's gonna pick your toes. <laughs> oh, you got it. Look at that. I'm too old for that shit. If it fucks with me, it's going down. Well, it went down. It didn't take it long either. You're wonderful. Uh, you might want to leave the uh, the, the uh, women work in the corner alone if you're gonna murder them. There you go. Yeah, no, I don't want them seeing that. <laughs> it was never here. To start with. Six silver, six silver grapple. Oh, they're What's selling, he selling? Again. They're trying What's to open. Some kind of grapples. Oh, oh, they're the trying grapple. to buy out all the grapples. That's that's unfortunate. I you know thought they were one. already sold out. I looked earlier. No, well, you know that the one with the shovel, he also sells them. Oh, okay, yeah. The bear's back at the honey again. Like it's fine now. It's right over there. Yeah, that's that. his special spot. We'll leave him yes. over there. Yeah, yeah. You stay well, over there, man. You think about what you did. We started a little communique over here, but we never finished. What what was it you had to tell us? The bear oh, wanted right. in on it. The bear, well, I, that bear's not getting anything from me except the bullets of the brain, but, you know. Um, so, uh, I, I'm a pretty nice fella, just, I want to keep everyone safe here. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, so, recently, right, there's been some of these, these rumors going around. I'm from a place that has a lot of bad people, but you know what? They treat you good. Maybe they're not so bad. Yeah, maybe um, not. No, they are. Uh, they definitely the enemy of you know the boys up north in the in the you know in the blue and red and the white flag. Yeah, I've heard of them. Yep, they uh apparently 
you probably heard this, like I said, they're getting really, really poor. Like they need things badly, and they're starting to buy out from civilians. And I've even heard pirates, which is, it, it's, it made me chuckle personally. Uh, but it is pretty funny because I've seen a couple of privateers and Navy guys come down here scooping around, trying to talk to me because, you know, co-owner of the Cigar Sisters Merchant Company, they're, they're like, what are you selling, you know, what are you selling? I'm like, well, depends. You know, are you friends with any Navy officers? And then they look at me and, you know, I tell them it's, it's going to be all right. One of them was a lawyer, actually, which was kind of... There's lawyers? There's oh, there's lawyers still, but they should be hung is what I keep hearing around this free port. Not a lawyer. <laughs> well, that sounds really violent. I, I don't really condone that. Oh, yeah, no, me neither. I, I just listen. I'm like, not a long, Margaret. Don't get all. We try to keep out of things, too. It's hard, though. You hear stuff. You get ideas. Lawyers Through. are the worst kind of criminals that are out there. So many lawyers. They actually, you know, the lawyer did something kind of wild, too. He had his, his, I believe his wife or someone with him who was this lovely lady, lovely engineer. She, uh, she kept hitting them, calling me a man, but, you know, that was just amusement on my part. He gave me, okay, he made me, you know, pay five silver for it, which I, you know, that's not much to me. Uh, mm -hmm. he gave me a, uh, a flintlock, right? Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, a gun just in the middle of the freeport from a privateer. I mean, I, I'll take it, sure. But then he started giving me this ammo. And apparently, because I was making him laugh so much, he just kept giving me this ammo. And I'm like, are you an arms dealer or a privateer? What, what's going on here? And it's, you know, Nia, she, she, she seemed pretty friendly too, actually. She gave me a blunderbuss, and I was like, Jesus, they're just handing out guns now. I like guns. Handing out the guns. That seems like a really silly policy. Why would anybody just need a gun? Oh, no, you're right. I actually left my guns on the ship before I came in here because I was like, you know, I don't want to cause like any you, trouble. You, you might trust us a little too much. You know, we could just turn on you right now. <sighs> there is quite a bit of you, I, I will say. Uh, uh, you know, you oh. can rest assured knowing I actually have no idea who these people are, so... I just showed up. That's what we do best. I yeah, think yeah, I was talking to this gentleman here. Yeah, we're 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 creating an oddities museum. Yeah, filled with the weird and unusual things that have been found. Oh, I you know what I'm telling you right now. I've been treasure hunting. I got so many weird things on my ship. I would love to give some off to you sometime. What would your favorite thing be? Uh, let's see. I think about that one. Well, for starters, I mean, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to incur anything, but I do have a little something on me. If somebody wants a little bit of a, a little bit of a smoke. I don't, I don't, I don't do the smoking myself. Oh, that's good. Hey, I, I get a little yeah, hot under the collar with that. Oh, yeah, don't. Definitely don't. Don't take it up. It's a bad habit. It's hard to quit. It took it's me, horrible. It'll be 79 years. I mean, it doesn't sound that bad, but it's just not something I ever do. Hey, friend. Hey there, friend. I, uh, I went on a very, very, very long really adventure. Boring. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, how's it going? Oh, it's absolutely it successful. Kind of, sorta. Oh, good. This is my friend here. What did you sell him? He's a he's a good man. He loves to sell things. Raps? Why would you sell a raft? You get a lot of ships. Grappling hooks, climbing pickets, and you want a knife. You ever feel like needing to throw a knife? Oh, fuck. And you look like a throwing knife. Sorry. I love knife. You could open a letter. What do you mean about that? Or you could shake a guy. Of course, that's you. Both, of, both of these are absolute. Your or you know what sank? happened? What do you mean it's sank? My friend here, she she uh, just got some. T tell them sorry. how strong these knives are. Tell them how amazing are you okay? these knives are. I mean, I could do no. more than tell you. I'm not going to hit you, but uh, if you want to see a no, demonstration. Okay. Oh, no. Look, look no, at these beautiful knives. 
Absolutely <laughs> amazing. Nice. Look at these. Look, look, look at the quality. They are, they are kind of scary. Because oh uh, they can do this. I'm surprised. Excuse me. Wow. Right in the stone. Right in the stone. Right in the stone. Uh, I'll oh, never, right. I'll never be able to do them. Uh, if you're interested, I can give you some. Actually, I, I've been, I'm actually, in, this is gonna sound weird. I'm interested in some uh, less quality ones, if that makes any sense. All right, we get these bottles that just keep washing up all over the shore, cluttering up the shoreline all day. A lot of garbage. We try yeah. to keep the ocean clean. You never know. What, what? We're gonna put a yeah, hot house in. There's an incredible amount of junk in the ocean, and I wish more people would help clean, keep the ocean clean. Yeah, you know, the cigar sisters, every time we're sailing, we always pick it up. We stop the whole damn boat if we have to, and we send our best divers in. We say, get it quick. Great, appreciate it. You know, the environment is really struggling. I don't know if you've noticed it, but it's actually usually incredibly warm at this free port. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I also just noticed there's a man probably passed out drunk back there. Yeah, there's actually a couple of them. At least three. There's one on top of the building as well. They okay, just yeah, make, right that, make that four. <laughs> they had a hell of a party. Yeah, that's right. Also, I took a look at these. How, uh, how much do you want for the, uh, you know, the, the aged ones? The not so, uh, not so hard ones. No, I, I wasn't looking for any money. Oh, no, no money. Oh, I feel bad now. I know you want something, anything, trade, maybe? Uh, I was just one silver short. You were just one silver short? You need a silver? Yeah, that, to buy one book. Oh, my oh, goodness. What are you, you trying what? to learn? Uh, farming. Farming. farming is actually yeah, it's a great thing you know I've, i was told a guy earlier that you know the breeding of the dairy cows and whatnot that you can buy from the farmer is probably going to be your best long-term investment oh that's yeah. a good option 
because not only do they produce more milk, but if you breed them and you get yourself a large herd, you can you, you just slaughter them and they get you know, cut down into some choice meats and then the cooks are going to be striving for those. They're going to be grabbing at them. They're going to be like, I'll give you your top price. You hear that, Stanley? Stanley's into over here. He's right, that's been the, the plan the whole time. It's just uh, quite, a t quite a time and money sink. It's going to cost uh, probably 12 yeah, gold to a, get it's, there. It's, it's a pretty big investment to start out, but it will pay for itself very quickly. That is good right. advice. Eventually, I'm going to have the money, and I'll finally open my small butcher shop and uh, be where I wanted to be. You can start probably with chickens if they're cheaper, because the chickens will also give you some cuts of meat that the cooks will be looking for. Oh, yeah. We no, saw our no. neighbor with a little chicken house. Uh, uh, he said that uh, he puts these chickens in there to cook the eggs. Hello. I think he probably oh, meant hello. to collect the eggs. <laughs> I think he said he turns up the heat in there underneath the uh, the coop sometimes, so that way he can get his uh, hard-boiled eggs straight out of the chicken coop. <gasps> that just sounds like animal abuse. You might run a report that to the Navy. Sounds rough. Yeah, I might know. We want to report that to the Navy. They told us that they don't want the Navy to come to the island. Oh yes, we better not. That definitely sounds incredibly shady. Which which island was it, if you don't mind me asking? I mean, if you need, I got a lot of friends in the Navy. I tell them right now. Uh, we 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 don't want to cause any trouble. Or uh, they they were so kind to allow, allow us to continue building the museum. And everybody else, they said... Oh, if it's your island... No, don't even... I won't even... If it's your island, I don't want to mess with it at all. Right, they just, they just rolled in under the cover of night uh, the next day. That guy over there is just said to a push-up. So I, I admire his, his, his strength and his stamina. I know, I saw that, and I was like... I, I kind of want to sell that man something just because I'm impressed. But I, I, I resisted my merchant needs. That's probably where he gets the strength in that beard. That is Liam, a are you all right? You're starting to look a little sickly. I feel kind of, feel kind of weak. I think it's the heat. I gotta go, I gotta go have something to eat. I think. Well, you know, the man over there, the one that tells the horrible jokes. You know, he sells cooked meat and milk, and milk is really good for you know the vitamins. And well, all right. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, that explains You're why I need to go. Damn. You know what? Uh, let me go look on my ship real quick. I'll see uh, what kind of junk I got in case you're interested in, in any of it for your museum. Oh, perfect. Yeah, but uh, she, she, she loves uh, creating new exhibits. Yep, I might have something. I might have something. Let me go take a look real quick. Yeah, we're putting the museum up. Uh, it's in the Northeast Island, uh, or, or no, it's the Northwest Island in B5. Now, uh, Bogger, you oh, gotta so stay this, here to. Uh, north of, of this, this, this sector. Right. It's just, uh, just about two islands away that way. Uh, this way. Yeah, I'll just go straight north. Two islands, or three islands, wouldn't it? You're going to stay and get your book, then, Bogart? Uh, I, I I can go get the book now. It's just right oh, over there. Oh, give me your silver. Uh, Elias was so or kind. Oh, my bad. Elias was so kind to give me some silver. Elias is like that. That's how he's employee of the month. Let's see here. The grill is in that one. So I need. Oof. I don't 
don't know what I can afford. Hello, how could I be of assistance? Afford it. The volume one. Or is it the five pound? Remember, always use extra butter. Perfect timing. I just invented a new recipe. Oh my goodness, I think I burned my pastries. Miss Anna. Yes. Do you wish to get your own? Standing Is the powder room yet? Um. Huh? I, if there's any to spare, I don't want to take anything from you. Oh look, there's another boom. Right. We'll see what we can do before, as a parting gift, say. I like this Freeport more and more. Yeah. You yeah. got, you got the boob shadows here. The, 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 the citizens are just quite delightful. Well, it was nice meeting you, ma'am. Likewise, you know, I hope you have a great time with your weird museum and whatnot. Okay. Wasn't that man going to get you some weird things to look at? Oh, that is true. Yes, I, I should wait here. It depends on where he parked his ship. Uh, our captain parked all the way on the other end of the uh, island. Kind of away from the people. That looks a little suspicious. You can want to run, you want to stand. Now I see those shadows everywhere I look. Now that you've seen it, you can't unsee it anymore. No. Yeah, the boob shadows are like eternal now. I see them everywhere. <laughs> It's coming right at me. Oh no. I think it's getting smaller. You know, they do that sometimes. There's some more prominent ones down the way though, you know. I hope that guy's all right. It's been a while since he left. Yeah, I think I'm going to let Bogger wait for his lady and I'm going to go back to the ship. Okay. Check on Bogger though. Is she still in the powder room? 
I thought she went back to the ship. I thought it was to use, like, you know, the little girl's room or something. Oh, you you got privacy or uh, bathrooms around? Uh, you know, I would love to do that, but um, we're working on it. But, you know, right now the garbage man is just really excited about cleaning stuff. So he just kind of sweeps it away. Garbage man? Where's the garbage man? Uh, we had to put him in hiding because people kept throwing their junk at him. And he definitely didn't want to buy it. Oh. Uh. He got a little upset and um, he went into hiding. Oh, understandable. It was nice to meet you, Freeport lady. And my name is Bob Potato. Bob the Potato? No, Bob Potato. Not the. I'm not a potato. Like Bob it? No, That's Bob. Not your name. Bob the Potato. <laughs> no, my name is Bob Potato. That's the name I was given. Oh. Like a bobbing potato. No, Bob Potato. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like the first, first name Bob, last name Potato. That is my name. Yeah. I'm disappointed you don't remember me. Oh, I have a what? They said I have the memory of a goldfish. You're gonna have to reintroduce yourself. <laughs> okay. I haven't actually got one it could yet. Be worse. Do you know how many people I run into in this place? It, it don't take offense. That's a, yeah, it's a yeah, actually, I was just uh, looking to actually get a possibly a bowl or some. some. I, I can't hear you. There's people who well, don't I mean, know how to use know, their indoor voices. I need something that I can use pretty often. Or you got a you busy corner. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty loud. So if I understand right, then we don't have a trash vendor. Oh, wow. What, what, what would a, what would a, a pipe? What would a pipe? It, it may be a little bit better than a spear. Well, I have to be underst understanding because I kind of had an issue the other day. <laughs> you got okay, I got, I think, a beginning book. Yeah, I, 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 so I'm kind of understanding, I'm kind of patient with that. It got better though, it got better. And I'm gonna have to. <laughs> Thank you. You don't happen to need a, uh, a oh rest. There you go, you got that, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, Did I think I got the thing? books that I, I got the three <laughs> books I think I might need, so other than that, okay, I don't know. Thanks. Hey, do you happen to know? Can have yeah, a will be can nice. Check out. That you might need. Do you know uh, the fine vendor who might help me with uh, it? I, I really don't need what else. Sure, what else I would uh, need? Knowledge. You could lend that me down, but I right, guess I could cool. use one. I do need a free. Every do you happen to know where the where the vendor is that would help me with it? Is true. All right, all right, all right. We'll, we'll do that one too. Now remember. <laughs>
truly. She knows we have an oddities museum, so. That's true. We put the signs out, we'll see who shows. Time yet. Soon. Uh oh. Why am I happy? I done? gotta but think about something. I got milk. I think it's in the other box over there. There's milk in there. There's some coconuts, some meat, some of the berries. The acai berries. Do you happen to have any uh, copper? Uh, I need like 25. Oh, coin. Oops. Did you get it? I was just one, one silver away from it, so. Oh no. Let me go grab it now. I no, I, I I got it. You you keep that. Okay, so I got cooking, and I got the farming. So. Hopefully it unlocks something, but you can't under, can't really understand which book you're buying. Be nice when that details arrive. Silver? Oh my. And the likes around the. For three silver. Oh, so, so. That is quite the deal. 
But I need me to swap I these out for you. Have to pass. All right, bye bye. Mmm. Here, oh, come this damn to me. <laughs> you know. Hey, take care now. Don't burn your ass. Hmm. Well, thank you. Best fortune is uh the one twenty that silver gets for a you, carbine. You know what I mean? That's mighty tempting. We're gotta stay within our budget. Coming in with a raid, Chuck Main. Thanks for the raid. How are you doing? How are you enjoying your adventures in Atlas? Welcome Raiders. I'm IT Guy TV playing Boggart Slime. We're working on building a By God Oddities Museum. So doing well. And so just picked up some books to learn and so forth we're at the freak port so welcome in everyone I know you liked uh, doing the razor tooth. Uh, uh, is that something that you're still going to try to do this season? Thanks for the raid again. Have a good evening. Okay. I'm gonna compare it down. It's it has helped to have two ships for all of us. There's four of us, you know, two ships not gonna be back. That should no. be fine. I destroyed my raft today, so we just have the two and not three. Oh, all right. Well, we don't need the two rafts. It's really a mess. It's due to sink any day now, I'm sure. I thought you were keeping the raft for an oddity. Oh, it's fine. Well, we can always get another raft. Not a big deal. Yeah, I can make another one. Okay, uh, ready? Right, I'm ready. Uh, I, I would ride the sheep back, but I can't seem to get on top. I think we're all right. I think we're fine now. Yeah, I think we're okay. I jumped off the ship when we arrived, and Stanley said, No, no, the plank, they got some salt in them now. It's much more buoyant than it used to be. So I think we're fine. Okay, so now that I got that Stanley, he's a thinker. He is, you know, he's always thinking about something. He's thinking right now. Look at that. He's sitting in that chair deep in thought.
ships of the damned on the port side, and there's a ship on the starboard side, but I'm sure you've seen them already. A lot of ships out here today. That's true. A bit the, the Navy should do something about the bad ships. Yeah, they probably should, you know. It's gonna get out of control. It starts with one or two, and then when people see how successful one or two are, they decide, well, I can do the same thing as those two. And if you don't snuff it early, it gets out of control. But it's up to the Navy what they want to do about it. What they want to do about it. I think that's a raft on the starboard side. They're not all gone yet. They're not out of fashion yet. There's still people that like them. It's almost like they're giving a raft to everybody at the Freeport or something. It feels like it, doesn't it? Like they just hand them out or something. Well, I got a couple of recipe books, so... so. That's good. And uh, I got uh, more uh, farming skills, so uh, maybe I can uh, get some better crop plots going. Ooh, better crop plots, all right. That's always an option. Someone's doing salvaging of that. Shipwreck looks like. You wait till they die down and come back up, and then we pull alongside, and you go lower your sails. Uh, why would you want to lower the sails? Uh, that means to, to go. If you raise your sails, then that would stop you from going. That's why I'm not a pirate, just now. I'd have them lower the sails and then they just take off. I'm not, I'm not going to be effective at pirating, so I just stick to the museum, I guess. It's almost like that fella yesterday telling us what side of the island to stay away from. Uh, yeah, he said stay away from the south side. North side's fine. <laughs> the east side's the trade and the south side's not, not go to. And... and it was the opposite the whole time. Yeah. It's tough work. I'm, it's tough work being a pirate. I don't. It doesn't come recommend. It's a lot of hard work. You always having to think. And and now they want you to announce yourself within a week. Uh, Who said announce yourself? Oh, there's this. Uh, uh, I was over there uh, on the main island uh, gathering wood. And some lady put up a sign. She wouldn't even say hi to me, but she put up a sign near me and, and wrote on it and says, uh, please announce yourself uh, within one week. Within one week? You got one week to announce yourself. Well, I mean, you have to see the sign first, right? Well, she was right there. She could have talked to me. I could announce myself then. Coming in with a rave. Thank you. Feel like we've announced ourselves already. Welcome everyone. Let's Coming in with a double island. raid. Thank you. Thank you for the follow. How you doing, Mama Goat? Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of people on the island now. It used to be quiet. I had never even gone to the north or south side or Wherever they're located, it's, I, 
they confused me so badly. I don't know if I'll figure it out. I don't care. I'm not going over there well, anyhow. You're welcome. Thank you for coming in. What? Mm. A lot more people over there now. I'm Boggart Slime, uh, operating Boggart's Oddities Museum. And so we're in the early stages of building the structure, so we're getting there. Thanks for the follow again. Yes, that's uh, Kale Kaleidoscope Show. Uh, he's playing uh, Bogatha Slime. That's where. We'll announce ourselves. Should we bother to go on the other side of the island or anything? Not that we're going to bother. We've been told don't go to the south side. Oh, yes. And they could have been real friendly to us and uh, came over and said hi. Uh, she put the sign right in front of me. Yeah. Well, that Frank fella came over and talked to me that time. Yeah, that's nice. And he gave us tools. He gave me metal. That's too. true. Yeah. Oh, he was wonderful to us. Now that I got uh, a recipe book, uh, uh, I'm wondering if I can make a, a pound cake or something to take over there and, and say thank you for allowing us to uh, uh, be on the east side of the island. A pound cake? My God. No, you're going to be able to make a pound cake if you keep getting those recipe books. Then you're going to have to deliver all of them. You better be careful. What you tell everybody is, I'll, I'll make you a fruit cake, because not a lot of people like the fruit cake. So you don't have to actually provide them, you see. <laughs> yeah, Gertrude. I wouldn't eat it if you gave me one. No. I don't like that. I don't touch the stuff. I, I got a fruit cake once, and uh, it made the best doorstop you, you, money could buy. Let it dry out and use it as a cannon fodder. Oh, that's an even better idea. You can load that sucker in a cannon and, and say, here's your fruit cake. Bugger's making fruit cakes now. We leave them out in the, the hot sun of the tropical island that we live on and we let them harden. And then you can use them as cannon bowls. You can even light them. They have, they have a little bit of alcohol in them and they burn really well. <laughs> If you're lucky, you can ring one around the top of the mast and it'll slide down. And they can't even get it off. They have to eat it off while it's on fire. Hmm. Now you're giving me some ideas. Yeah, well, that's what I do. I give out ideas. Oh, damn. You're so smart. Yeah, I try. Well, it's just the age. It's when you make it to 100 years old, you're pretty smart. You've seen a lot of stuff. I feel like I've seen a lot. That's what makes you a good museum guide. You can, you can tell all these stories that you've harvested. If you were, you know, if you were a young person, you may not have heard a lot of stories yet. You don't have a lot of tales to tell. It's your elders you have to look to for the tales. Getting older by the minute, too. Modern times, these modern days. Did you know that Stan's gonna get out of that chair and he's gonna be soaked all the way down the back? It rained in that chair multiple days now. We can probably. If, do you have any mushroom spores, Bogart? We can probably grow mushrooms out of the bottom of that chair from all the mm, wetness. Maybe. Eventually, we may want to give it to that uh, kind. Uh, uh, Captain Elias. Of what to him? Mm. Uh, Captain Elias, uh, the one that uh, wanted the chair and you kept offering me instead. Yeah, that's right. But I don't want that old chair anyhow. I'm sad enough enough to know how wet it is all the way through. We could keep putting it in the box and get it all moldy and things and give it to him. That's right. Here's that stinking chair that you asked for. It grows mushrooms out of the bottom of it. Good luck. 
mushroom or... Yeah. If you like the mushroom soup, you'll be glad to have this here chat. You just trim your own mushrooms off the bottom. Thanks for the follow. They grow pretty frequently. I think on the inside, it's more mushroom than stuffing at this point. Hmm. I, now that uh, multiple people have asked for that chair, well, we should put it in the museum and and write a uh, oddity out of it. It's gonna be an oddity once it's more mushroom than chair. We're just waiting. It's, you, you can create your own. That's part of the trick, Elias. You can create your own oddities as well. I'll think on it. Ah, oh, you never know. You leave a chair out in the rain long enough, it's going to turn into an oddity eventually, right? <clears throat> yeah, we, we, we got to get Elias uh, all, uh, all prepared to take over the museum uh, if, if, if we have to move on. Yeah. He's going to be a good curator one day. Is that the reward for Employee of the Month, is to create a, uh, an exhibit? Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. are the exhibit. This is Employee he's of the Month. First exhibit right here. He certainly is an exhibit. Before you go through the door, you're going to experience your first exhibit right here. Employee of the Month. Ooh, it's going around. Everyone needs one. I'll see if I can remember how it goes. Welcome to Bogart's Odyssey Museum. Tell us Someone right. will be with you shortly. You're so uh, good at it. Did, did, I, did I hear that correctly? He, he, he said my name instead of Bogart. He said Bogart, yes. It's your said, museum. Oh. He said the elder name. Yeah, the elder. I'm getting such a big head. I get get to ride on the sheep and and uh, the the nice comfy sheet. And then uh, what else was it uh, uh, you 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 did for me today? Uh, there was something else, uh, but I, I feel so privileged. Privileged, you're the eldest. Now, but remember. Uh... You make it all the fame that comes with all of the, uh, both responsibility and liability. That's right. You're responsible. Oh, so you're asking for my autograph now. Uh, that's going to cost you five silver. What in the world? Five silver? You need to sell those at the free port. There's a lot of people there. You can make you some good coins handing out autographs. <laughs> Uh, much better wind coming up than we had going down. That's a bonus. That's really nice. My, my hair is blown. Time I get home, my hair will be longer just from the wind. Stretching it as we go. Did you know your back is wet, Stanley? It's the chair been soaked all the way through with water. Brace yourself. The, the shimmering wall's coming. They'll lay up here and hopefully the wind will dry me off. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, I probably need to move up a little bit. Uh, that anchor's gonna hit here in a sec. You know it smacks around back there. It scares the sheep too. The sheep's gonna turn and spin around when it hears the anchor crack. Give it time. We're fine. So we worried uh, operating the wheel there that the sheep will uh, give you a kick in the leg. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, there was the anchor hey. again. That scared the sheep. It's trying to jump. Oh, it's almost overboard. Oh, there you go. Got it. Stay ready for that sheep. Jump. He 
know it's unusual if you have a secret area that you don't want people into that you call them in there to talk to them first. Kind of. I, I don't think I'd call them over there. I'd say I'll be here to talk to you at a certain time. Right, you bring the conversation to them. You have the control of it. That's right. I'd never even been over there. I'd never even described to anyone who arrived on the island what was over there or what it looked like or anything. And then they, they drug me all through the place and I had to look for someone to talk to. Now I know what it all looks like. I don't need to know. I try to erase it from my mind. All right, that doesn't seem, uh, doesn't seem like a good way to do business because now you uh, can describe everything. Get what you saw, they said. Stay out of the south side. Alright! We will! Then it was like, no, no, it's the north side. No, it was the south side. No, no, it's the east side. I was so confused I went home. I'm just going home. Is that alright? Is that on the right side? I hope so. He got flustered and left after his fellow that worked for him corrected him. Yeah. The war chief stepped on his toes. Oh, it's the war chief. I was thinking the governor for some reason. The governor stepped on his toes. I think there's both, but yeah, we that's... only met the war chief. Yeah, that's what they call them. I don't know. I don't know the difference myself. I look like one person to me. Bell tall. The taller you get, the more you look like one person to me. I can't, can't distinguish facial features when you're so tall. I just don't like know. A, like doctor. If you ask me, what does that doctor look like who gave you the lotion? I couldn't tell you that. I don't know. I didn't mention to him that my eyes were poor. If I mentioned that, he'd give me something for my eyes. I don't want that. You don't, you don't know what you're doing there. You don't know what you're putting in your eyes when somebody just hands you something. Have you ever had someone throw a package against your door frame in the middle of the night? You just, you don't, you don't rely on things. You read all the labels. Yes, definitely read all the labels. Uh, and uh, make sure there's no side effects. Oh. fellow that offered to build a ship is kind of on this side of the north part there. All right. Yeah, I say you take him up on it if, you, if he's just wanting materials or whatever. If he needs coin, we'll get it. It's fine. You get what yeah, you we'll want. see. Yeah, get what you want. Oh, is it a bigger ship? Um, he offered, I was on the two rafts earlier today. And he said he could make a better one, kind of like this. Ooh, a challenge. You say, well, I challenge you to make the best one you've ever made. He already had one person there. He was making a better ship. So I told him I would think about it. Oh, definitely. We'll sink that O2 rafts as fast as you can get the other one home. Then we have two nice ships that we can travel on that, are, that have some good speed to them. Be able to get around if... Someone's going out looking for something. We don't have to take out the two rafts and chug along through the ocean. That'll be nice. That would be nice. All right, we brought uh, quite a bit along with the trip this time, including uh, picking up a new sheep and getting all the salt. And yeah, that was a lot of salt. Still held out, no problem. We got rid of the boxes and then filled up with metal. There was over a thousand salt in one of the boxes, not even a resource chest. So does right. anybody know if they can make the preserving salt? Hmm. That's a question. I don't know. 
That, is, that sounds like a job for a chef. Yeah, it, sounds, it seems like it would be in a cookbook somewhere for preserving your own uh, food you cooked. I don't yeah. think it's in the building supply. I don't, I don't think it's in any of the blueprints that I have for constructing. I'll think. check. Um, Barga, did you say you were uh, researching uh, farming or cooking or both? Um, mastered in both. All right. So uh, I'll try to get us some better meals. Now that you got cattle, uh, I'm sure we can uh, make some better steaks, maybe some, maybe some flamions. Right, we'll see what we can do. And then once I get a bit of cool rub together and uh, get some of those uh, well-bred cows, then uh, we'll definitely have the steaks on the grill. I wonder if I have one of those chicken coops uh, uh, blueprints now. You suppose you can make some sort of a water collection thing? Maybe uh, with some pipes. Uh, maybe. Um, it's hard to tell. You look at the book and you never see the index. That's true. That kind of picky about putting the index in the book for you. You kind of have to read through the blueprints to see what you got. And then you have to slug for more coin. It's part of your surprise at the free portal. We'll have to put together uh, some sort of kitchen dining hall for us to sit and eat. Ooh. Place for our barger to uh, stretch his fingers out and uh, right. buy his trade. Oh, they're gonna have to have a snack area at the museum for people that come visit. If they come visit and they get kind of puny. You know how you, you get kind of tired sometimes with the food. Oh, that is true. Have a snack area for people to dine. Right, sometimes people get a bit angry. You don't want anybody angry on the tour. We don't want any of that food anger in our museum. You keep that outside. I'm gonna add that to the warnings at the front. No food anger. I have to have some, have to have some qualifications before people can come in. I think I had some food anger until we got a bucket for Stanley's cows. You know, it felt that way, didn't it? Did you have one of those headaches, the milk headache, or for lack of the milk? Ugh, those, those were terrible. Well, my bones were getting very brittle. Yeah, they were. Remember way back in the no bucket days? It was so long ago. We're so fortunate now to live in these modern times. Probably why we keep finding so many teeth laying about. Uh -oh. I don't know. With deficiencies, uh, their teeth just coming loose. There's so many teeth. They're not even damaged. They're undamaged teeth. They're, they're perfectly healthy, but they're not in the mouth anymore. That seems unusual to me. Normally, the tooth starts to wither before it falls out of the mouth. Not just the mouth withers from around the tooth. That seems more unusual. I also found a bucket with a hole in it. <laughs> oh, all these buckets. That seems like... It seems almost, almost sad to find a nice bucket and it's got a hole in the bottom. To sell that to someone at the Freeport. Oh, would you like to buy a bucket? I've got one. Got a hole in the bottom. Gotcha. Oh, we got some unique fruits. Uh, I need to put it in the press and get some seeds out of them. Maybe yes, I can grow need, those. You need to press all the foods tonight before they before they rot and take the seeds with them. Go ahead and grab all the interesting looking stuff. And squeeze them.
Yeah, I'll unload the salt and metal and stuff. What about this bucket? I haven't thought of it. Have you tried to put stakes in the seed squeezer to see if it gets seeds out of them? Plant them and start growing stake plant. It could be nice. Hmm. I wonder if you can put uh, a fish in there and get all out of it. Hmm. That's a question. I don't know. We should ask the fish man. There's a whole fish man on an island and we didn't even bother to ask questions about fish yeah, it seems a bit it seems a bit silly thinking back now yeah, so many things that we could have picked his brain about yeah there's a lot we, we just start a list fish questions Fish questions colon and then down below we put the list top of the list what about fish oil where's it come from tell us now we could probably do well to uh, start a list of, about just a, any type of profession, and then whoever we happen to come across first, that's who we ask. Chef and us. I'm gonna shuffle through my lists right here. What about for piracy? You don't have any questions for pirates at all? We get pulled over by a pirate, and we just go down our list of questions. We have questions for you, that's part of the adventure. Hold still. Always looking for information, anyhow. Can't have too much information with a museum, right? Without, you could always lead yourself to somewhere interesting. We may think about a pirate exhibit. Oh, hell, it could. Just a chair. Just a beautiful chair. We'll have to figure out how to squish okay. some tree stuff to make some paper we can write on. Oh yeah, that's right. But what do we want to do a, a navy na navy exhibit? Uh, since uh, probably the navy won't come to visit, uh, if we wouldn't want to offend the neighbors. Uh, mm, you never know. I, we can't control who comes to visit. It's up to them. If they want to get rowdy with someone, then they're just going to have to get rowdy with them. But it's not up to us who stops at the port. How could we know? How are we going to tell someone at sea not to come? Yeah, they're the governors. If uh, someone comes to the island and they get rowdy with them, that's their responsibility. They can't put that on yeah. us. Yeah, that's right. We're just a museum. We don't have anything to do with any of it. within sight now. Home sweet home. Now we're close. It was a good adventure. Yeah, it was pretty good. We got we got salt. Salt. We were that's what we went for. So that's good. If you, if you leave home you better come home with what you left to go get, right? Yeah. Probably need to put that rock salt uh, uh, in another location uh, because I think uh, uh, that kind of freezes up or makes ice cream. That's interesting. You better look through your recipe. Flake salt may be used on something like a like a seasoning. Yeah, so we probably won't use all of it. To kind of save some of it. Sure. There's the tub right there. The home tub. Your days are numbered. Elias has a better offer. Oh God, Man Sky. overboard. Man overboard. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're drowning. Oh, no. oh, we got drowned. Ah, oh, you're fine. You made it. Okay, I th Oops. There we 
was something here. Grab these, take those. And nope, I can't carry that much. Still can't carry that much. There we go. Now we have close to 7,000 salt from one trip. Wow. That's good. When Bogget gets into the cooking, we'll have to start saving some stuff. And right. then I'm sure that it's used as ingredients as well. And we brought about 700 metal back as well. We had a really productive day. Oh yeah, the sheep. But I thought you want to ride the sheep. Oh, there we go. Never uh, no, I'm a little heavy. I still got some crates that I need to unpack. Oh, all right. Okay, let's unpack this. Open. Crude oil.
Now the mutes say they're going to mutiny if they don't get paid again. Not in the world. I've got five silver if you need it, Stanley. Okay, yeah, they should need four. I think I have maybe one or two in my pocket here. Oh, no, I gave it to Elias, I'm sorry. I handed it to him at the free port. You should have enough. All right. Oh, um, uh, since we're getting another ship, uh, uh, do we want to use this? What is it? Oh, look at that. We'll have to decide on that. That's up to you. You're the, you're the cook. You're the one that's going to be collecting those fish. You decide which ship you want it on, I guess. Hmm. Probably wouldn't hurt to have a, a schooner if if we can. Eventually. Yeah, eventually. They'll probably be popular. I don't know. It can. It, it may fit on us. On us. On us. On a. Sloop. Or a tub. That was a chance. I uh, hear you are. Yes, thank you. I got a fishing attachment now. You're welcome. Where'd you get a fishing attachment? It came in one of the bu bu books. Interesting. A cooking book? Yes. I what know. Kind of are you reading, Bogart? No, it came in the farming book. Hmm. You think that'll fit on the sloop? Uh, I'm not sure. It may. You plan on doing some fishing? Mm, I don't know. Let's see here. There's all kinds of stuff in here. See if it'll, it may not fit, but no, it's too big. What it goes in the grinder.
I just got so ang angrily thirsty. Ugh. Speaking of thirsty, I can actually make a well. Uh, and uh, pipes. Ooh. That could be very nice if we were to run, uh, run some pipes maybe to a grill so we could... Uh, do some soups and things. Yeah. I can make a... I can make a wood stove. I can make a grill and a oven. Ugh. I think the oven would probably be very beneficial as well. Wood stove probably. would be nice to have on the ship if we go to the cold. I thought about where you might like your kitchen at. Mmm, not yet. Uh, 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 uh like I said, you got suggestions or anybody got suggestions uh, it doesn't matter to me well, the it's suggestion not. I have is uh is going to be an unpopular suggestion okay my because my suggestion is to put it right there oh <laughs> just right there no it's not unpopular we'll just so, get it when we can What do we, uh, in terms of, uh, layout for somewhat of a town or whatnot, do we plan on using the beach out here? Where? The beach where? Right here. This stretch of beach, yeah. No, not necessarily. I don't have any plans for it. We could also put the town over near that rock on that little island if we wanted to. Where the sign is, if we wanted to put docks over there, because you know how the docks are, they make everything kind of sick. If they're way out there by that rock, maybe they won't right. matter so much. Right. I don't know. I wouldn't want to uh, split everything up so much where everything's scattered all over this island somewhere. Uh, well, we're not too split up, we're fine. We got, we got multiple things going on, too. Did you find a cool spot? Yeah, I just got in the water and dampen your clothing. Should help with the heat. No, that's nice. Right. That's why I wanted to put a sign out there telling where the town was going to be, so if we needed some docks for people to arrive at, could always arrive over there. Right. Just to, in case. So just, I'm yeah. also just concerned that if we were to put another dock there, bridging that water gap, we're going to kill everything else on this island again. Yeah, we can't do that. The docks have to be way out there past the rock. So can you put a house out or a little uh, area for a kitchen? Yeah, out there by the rock, we can do that. Like, like an entry town sort of area. And then you can do the cookery out there if you want to. Yeah. It could be an option. I, I don't know if you want to put some crop plots out somewhere. If you do, we can put them wherever we like, I guess. But you might want to cook near the crop plots. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't matter. All right, we'll think on it. We don't have to decide right right now. I got preserving bags in the farming bench, and so I right. uh, just don't know uh, where the preserving salt, so what book that's hiding in. Did you look in the uh, the mortar thing? Yeah, I looked in there, but I don't see anything. I also looked in the grinder. I don't know what the mm. grinder is good for, but... I can make organic paste and gunpowder, but I can't make salt. Who was it that made this uh, mortar and pestle? 
Not me. Maybe it was me. I don't know. Maybe so. Uh, Should we try make it. a new one? Yeah, try this thing. Is uh, get rid of that one and let's try to uh, make a new one. I also, think that's a good idea, Elias. Also, um, I think if you put out the preserving bag, uh, things may stack a little better in it and uh, kind of keep stuff a little preserved without having salts in it. Right. I think uh, making another mortar and pestle may be all right. Maybe it was a bad mortar and pestle. I don't know. Uh, take a look in there, Bogart. See if you can do anything now. Uh, load her up with salt and flint. Let's go, oh. boys. Oh. Right, right. Let me grab some of this flint over here. There's plenty of it. There's a lot of salt in the smith- or a lot of flint in the smithy. Okay, um, where can we put a bag down? Not sure. What should say? Where should we put a bag? Can we yes. just put a bag inside the hut? Or... I'll put it inside the house, that's fine. Okay, I'll put it in and take some food in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you'll have to have a place to store food as well. So you need a place for crop plots, kitchen, a place to store food. Yeah. Oh, all right. We'll figure it out. Okay. Uh, those those large, shiny blue rocks over there with an axe. I got almost 800 uh, flint from it. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, that's good. I'm going to put uh, uh, two... Um, uh, should I put um, I'll put one preserving bag out uh, by the uh, cooking pot for right now uh, just for raw right. meats and stuff I wonder when it comes time to do the butchery if you'll be able to preserve your butcher cuts in, in a bag like that I don't know I'm not sure do you think maybe somebody has uh, some way of creating a box with ice oh. I don't know hmm don't know. I remember uh, you're not going to want to put uh, the raw meats in with the, the salt, or you'll just end up with salted meat.
That's what you were doing. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't want to put the raw meat in there because sometimes it gets a little salty. See if there's something else I can do. There's one bench I didn't look in. Let me look in this bench. Please tell me there's something in here. also make flare guns just have to have coal to put in the mortar to make gunpowder I can make a flare gun with a gunpowder All right, everyone, well done today. Very well done. We did a very good job. We got everything we went out to get, so that's a plus. Oh, I got you something. Is it preserving salt? No, um, just a second. He's always playing games with me, that one. He likes to build your anticipation. He does, and then just step on your foot. Oh. That sure was quite the book you had today. Yeah. I think I can put the chickens in there and cook the eggs. I wonder if this can just uh, sit in the dirt, or if it's got to be uh, elevated. Uh, I don't know. I forgot to look at the other town where they had the... Probably best just to take a look and see if there's a good spot. Oh, it's very nice. Uh, if it's okay, I may want to bring the farming bitch over here so I can uh, just easily yeah, pick up the, the 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 poop and make. Uh, uh, fertilizer. <laughs> Wonder if I need to.
And there they are, all happy in there. You know, originally, about, uh, about an hour and a half ago, well, not that long ago, but probably 30, 40 minutes ago, I initially went over there to make another, uh, feeding trough to put inside the pond, and I never did that. <laughs> I did make a water barrel for some reason to bring over here, though. All right. So when you wake up with a very dry mouth, you can always just stumble out here and shove your head in that barrel. Or if you forget to drink on your way to bed, you don't have to go all the way back. That's smart. Right, because I came over here to look at something, and as soon as I got here, I got angry, thirsty, and uh, raged all the way back over there again. Well, it looks like we got... Uh, I think I got everything I need uh, from the Freeport today. So I appreciate everybody's yeah. help uh, giving me coin. You're welcome. Uh, I'll, I'll yeah. try to repay you back uh, with interest uh, eventually. What in the world? Now, the things that uh, you were able to learn in the books uh, benefit everyone. Yeah, it all comes in handy. We'll be glad to have some of those nice yes. things. Not feel so yeah. sick time eating the light meals yeah for some reason i can make a stable too how did you see uh bargot moved the food in here yeah, it's all bagged up oh that's good yeah there's preserving sauce just don't put raw meat in it it'll make it real salty meat no i hope it doesn't make the milk salty yeah you have to wash your milk what do you wash it with? A secret. No, well, I guess you're you're the only one having water milk then, because nobody right. else knows. That's all been washed. It's in there. I've washed all the milk. So if you get it out of the bag, it's fine. Just don't take it straight from the cow. It's not unwashed. Okay. All right. I have to ask other people if they've washed their milk. Add that to the list of questions. I'm going to go make this other feeding trough because I think uh, the chickens were able to come out the window and come over here and get feed, but the cows can't reach from there. Okay. Anybody else need anything? Uh, okay. All right. Thank you, Elias, for all your help today. Yes, thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Oh, it was a good day. It was. We got what we were looking for. We got to visit the Freeport, and it wasn't so crazy today. It wasn't so loud, 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 busy, busy. And we met some nice citizens of the town. Yeah, we did. We met that nice, that nice young lady. She said she was 20, I think. She's there just... Doing whatever she does, I, di I didn't want to, I didn't want to pry too much into what was happening. But she got her grapple sad. hook out, and she says she drags the bodies around through town. Yeah, sounds interesting. Well, maybe she's giving them exercise, you know, exercising everyone. Oh yeah, we used to do that. Uh, uh, we we would take Norman out and have to drag him down the coast and back. Uh, he likes long walks. Yeah. Long walks on the beach. Do you take your loved ones for long walks on the beach? Use your grapple hook. It's what makes it a faster adventure. Okay. All right. Well, good night, everyone. It was good to see everyone. Good night. Thank you as well, Stanley, for all your help today. I think we got whatever we were looking for today. Oh, they seem to have all oh, of them. They're eating. Yeah, but I just noticed uh, earlier that I had uh, overlooked them. Whoops. Well, look at that. They're glad to be eating. Well, they only went a little while without eating. They're not, they shouldn't be too desperate unless they're just very hungry. Okay, did you need anything, uh, Stanley? I know I'm going to turn in myself. Okay, right. sounds like a great idea. 
and it's turning into something. So am I. Turning into a Freeport person. Are you going to turn into a Freeport murder hobo? No, I'm going to turn into one of those bodies that lays at the Freeport for a little while. But first, I'm going to make sure the door's locked because there's people watching. <laughs> evidently. Thanks everyone for joining me tonight. Right. Thanks for Good all night, the everyone. raids, Dub. And, uh, and thanks everyone for the chatting and uh, y'all have a good night. We'll see you soon.